Well, Chase Kalish last year, that swim could have been considered the swim of the meet, Rowdy. He won that by over a second and a half, breaking that record. Yeah, the top time in history by about a second and a half. Certainly a guy to beat. I talked to him before finals during warm-ups, and he said he really wants this one. A little disappointed in his 200 IM earlier in the meet, but he's going to have a race. I mean, he's going to have a race, Sam. This guy right here, the sophomore, Will Lacone from Texas, has just been on fire here. He went the second fastest time in history in the 200 IM earlier. Got second to... David Nolan of Stanford, and this is a great event for him. Also a wonderful breaststroker. Three schools have two swimmers each in this final. Okay, Cone will be in five. He got a lot of great breaststrokers in this race. Chase Kalish, probably fly might be his best stroke, but a very good breaststroker. Will Lacone, no doubt about it. Breaststroke is his best stroke. Josh Perneau, who was third in this event last year, up there in lane number seven, is a great breaststroker. Well, the top five times in Division I this year are all represented in this final. I really think the race will come down eventually to the middle of the pool. That's Kalish at four with that red cap, four from the bottom. Lacone is right next to him in lane five, one up. Lacone looking very good here in the butterfly leg early on. We're only a quarter through the race, but this is probably not where Kalish thought he would be at the end of the fly leg. Lane two also doing very well. That's Henshaw who had a spectacular swim in the prelims to get himself into these finals. Don't think he will be able to hang on here at the end. He did his job just getting him here and scoring those valuable points for Cal. As you said, three teams with two swimmers, and Cal is one of those teams. Georgia's the other, and of course, Texas is the other. That's what it's all about here, trying to win that team title. And Cal needs a good finish here to keep pace with Texas. And right now, they're getting it. Adam Henshaw with the lead in lane two. And you see just above him in lanes four and five, the Kalish and Lacone pairing. You, you think that Texas had multiple bodies every single final here, but Texas only has Will Lacone. It's Florida that has two swimmers who will also score valuable points for the Gators as they are in the mix for the title as well. Lacone had the slight lead at the turn, and now they go into the breaststroke. And it is Kalish starting to get a little bit of separation. I don't know. They are dead even, Sam, right there at the breaststroke. And this is where you would think Lacone would have a little bit of an advantage on Chase Kalish. I, I hesitate in saying that only because Kalish has always been so good in breaststroke, but Lacone has just been so dominant in the breaststroke this year. And you can see he's taking that advantage. Now, it's still a little early, but if, and that's a big if, if Texas does win this event, it will be the final event in history that Texas has not won in the NCAA championship. They've won every other event in their history. This is the last one. And that is saying something. Lacone has turned the tables. He has the lead over Chase Kalish. Will Lacone trying to bring it home, going into the freestyle. Is his lead big enough to hold up? I just don't think Kalish has that, that whip-like kick to be able to dominate here at the last 75 yards. He is now a full body length behind Lacone, and Lacone looking very smooth. He did it in that breaststroke, and that's where he was supposed to do it. Will Lacone's Lacone. going to win this. Lacone looking very strong, way out in front now. Unbelievable swim here by Will Lacone. The sophomore was the bridesmaid earlier in the, in the 200 IM. But not tonight. He is going to win this 400 IM for Texas. And Will Lacone is going to upset the two-time defending champion and become the first Longhorn in history to win this event. A personal best as well by three seconds. Will Lacone turning it on and dominating, swimming the fourth fastest time in the history of this race. You think about the 37 years that 
Eddie Reese, the coach of Texas, has been here. And to think they haven't won this event in 37 years, 11 national titles, 11 times they've been second, yet they've never won this title, and now they can now they think say they can. Here's the halfway point. You see the two leaders. There's Henshaw toward the bottom. And he faded at the end, but you know that the race was going to shape up on that third leg, the breaststroke. But Lacan is really just pouring it on right here. I mean, just relentless on this breaststroke. And and really he outsplit. Chase Kalish on the freestyle, too, so he swam a very smart race, was right there at the halfway point, and look at the separation he has between Kalish and the rest of the field, especially that great kick at the end, and there goes the hook'em. And again, a personal best time for Lacombe by three seconds. And the University of Georgia, though, picks up some points by going two and three in this race. Lacone wins it, the first Longhorn in history to win the 400 IM. Will, what a historical race that was. Did you know that you are the first Longhorn in history to win this race? It was the only event that the Longhorns have never won. Really? Uh, I have no idea. Wow, okay. And your thoughts on making that historical swim and leading for most of the race? More than an honor. I mean, I couldn't have done it without the guys next to me. I mean, they pushed me to go as fast as I did without them and my teammates supporting me. It's all of them. <laughs> they just helped me through it. It's huge for Texas, but it's huge for you also being the runner up in the 200 IM and then coming back and doing what you did, leading most of the race. Did you depend on the breaststroke or what was your strategy? Just be able to come home and not be exhausted by the time the freestyle hits. Well, congratulations, well constructed. Great race for you and the long haul. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Well, the University of Texas at the moment in control of the team race. And speaking of being in control, the Longhorns have an unprecedented six swimmers in the final of the 100 butterflies.